What's going on everybody? Coach Brian Klopacki here coming from St. Pete, Florida. Criticalbench.com, certified strength and conditioning coach. So I deal with athletes. I love athletes. I love their drive. I love their commitment to their game. But most importantly, they work hard. So these drills I'm going to show you are the best conditioning drills for the top five. You've got football, you've got soccer, you've got baseball, basketball, and tennis. Hockey, we can't do any hockey drills out here because we're not on ice. We're outside in the sun. So these drills, I'm going to show you four drills for each sport. Some are going to overlap because the drills are that good that you want to carry them over to a different sport. So as you can see, I'm on a basketball court here. So I'm going to show you some tennis and basketball drills first. And then we're going to go to the field. i got to switch my shoes out. i got to get some cones set up. I'm going to be showing you soccer, football, and baseball. Not necessarily in that order, but again, you're going to see some drills repetitive. That's, and again, there's a reason for that. So here we go. Take some notes. we got a lot of content to cover. But most importantly is you want to work hard, you want to work smart, and stick to your sport. Unless you're a multi-sport athlete, you're going to tackle all these different drills all the time. So now people ask me all the time, how far do I set the cones apart? Start small, start for your position of your sport. So if you're always going short distance, set your cone short distance. Now like for the game of football, you're going to be running, maybe a wide receiver runs 30, 40 yards, set your cones a little further. And I'll talk more about that when we get to there. But so let's go into tennis, let's go into basketball. All right, so for the game of tennis, we've got these four drills. Like I said, we have a five cone lateral shuffle. We have a run shuffle run. Third coming in, we have lateral cone pickup or a short shuttle with those cones. Then we have a forward cone pickup going into the game of basketball. Pretty similar, we've got suicides with a jump. Short shuttle with the jump. W drill forward. You're facing forward, but it's really a lateral drill. And then we have the basketball box drill. Always facing one direction, forward, side, back, side. Again, these eight exercises, four for tennis, four for basketball. Knock them out here, take some notes, and we're going to the field and going there. So let's watch and have some fun. Here we go.
All right, so you're not a tennis player, you're not a basketball player, and that's completely okay because we're gonna show you some football, soccer, and baseball drills here on the field. The first two sports, I love these two sports, football and soccer. I played soccer growing up, so I love these drills that I'm gonna show you here in just a moment. But for football, you wanna go uh, the distance where you set your cones up to the position you play. So if you're a wide receiver, if you're a punt returner, if you're a safety, space out the cones a little bit longer to give into your sport. Now, if you're, you play on the O-line or D-line, you're not gonna be running a lot, but you are gonna be coming off the line quick. So set up your cones the distance for your, your given position. For football, we have the short shuttle, we have the L drill, we have flying 30s, and we have a Y drill. For soccer, we have the L drill again, awesome drill that you can use for any field sport. For soccer, again, you have your suicides, you have a W drill like you just saw in the basketball court, and then we're gonna finish off with a box drill, standard square box, and you're gonna be running around it um, as fast as you can. Okay, after we do those eight drills, you're gonna see me again, and I'm gonna walk you through the baseball series. Here we go, baseball players. We have flying 30s like you just saw here for the football drills. Then we also have a two-step side shuffle, turn and run. This is like coming off the bag or getting out in the outfield, coming to a, a fly ball. Accelerate, decelerate, accelerate is your third drill. And last, we have that Y drill again. I love the Y drill. You can go in right, left. You can uh, space it as long as you want. You can do whatever you want with that Y drill. As long as you do these four, your game of baseball is gonna elevate. Okay, so we're gonna get right to it, take some notes, the game of baseball. Here we go. I'm catching my breath, I'm thirsty, I'm ready to quit. But before I go, I wanna tell you about some free supplements, free workouts, and free t-shirts that we're giving away. All you need to do is click this box here, give us your email, we're gonna enter you in for a chance to win some awesome stuff. 
Not only that, we're gonna add you to our fitness tip newsletter where you're gonna know about some upcoming giveaways. If you can't click the link because you're on a mobile device, what you need to do is click the little arrow under this video here. That's gonna open up our video description area. That top link you see, criticalbench.com slash Facebook, is the link you need to click to gain access to winning some cool stuff. Subscribe to our channel because we got a whole bunch of other content we'd love to share with you. Like us, share us, but most importantly, we'd love to hear what you have to say about these awesome drills that I just showed you or about something you want to see in the future. Maybe, maybe you just have a question in general about fitness. Whatever it is, post in the comments section now because we're going to help you out. Thanks for watching. See you soon. What's going on, everybody? Coach Brian Klopacki here coming from St. Pete, Florida. CriticalBench.com, certified strength and conditioning coach. So I deal with athletes. I love athletes. I love their drive. I love their commitment to their game. But most importantly, they work hard. So these drills I'm going to show you are the best conditioning drills for the top five. You've got football, you've got soccer, you've got baseball, basketball, and tennis. Hockey, we can't do any hockey drills out here because we're not on ice. We're outside in the sun. So these drills, I'm going to show you four drills for each sport. Some are going to overlap because the drills are that good that you want to carry them over to a different sport. So as you can see, I'm on a basketball court here. So I'm going to show you some tennis and basketball drills first, and then we're going to go to the field. I got to switch my shoes out. I got to get some cones set up. I'm going to be showing you soccer, football, and baseball. Not necessarily in that order, but again, you're going to see some drills repetitive. That's, and again, there's a reason for that. So here we go. Take some notes. We got a lot of content to cover, but most importantly is you want to work hard. You want to work smart and stick to your sport. Unless you're a multi-sport athlete, and you're going to tackle all these different drills.